All right, so this is how students will join a classroom and navigate the classroom platform. First thing is that we will go to Google and we will sign in using our student login for Fayette County. So it should be your first name, dot last name, at stu.fayette.kyschools.us. Enter your password. Wonderful. So now that we're logged into Google, you have access to your waffle, which we like to call it. It's actually where all of your Google apps live. So you're going to click your Google apps and then you will see classroom right here. Once you are into Google Classroom, you will have any classrooms that have already been created for you uh, that you've already joined. If you have nothing, don't worry um, because you're getting ready to add your first classroom. You're going to come over here to the plus sign where it says join class. Once you click that plus sign, you're going to enter that special code that your teacher gave you. All right, now that we're in, I can see that this is Mr. Broyles NTI classroom for 2019, 2020. That's what my teacher named the classroom. If you scroll down, you will see off to the left side, any upcoming assignments that might be due. And you see, I have something due on Thursday that I need to get working on. If you scroll back up, you'll see our stream for our classroom, which is just like our assignments that are listed below or any announcements that Mr. Broyles wants me to know about. If I want to look at all my classwork, I have this tab. And you can see it pops up with some little advice for you as you're going through if you've never used it before. And then I can also view people, which shows me who my teacher is. And I can actually click right here to email Mr. Boyles. And I can see any of the classmates who have also joined me. Now, my teacher might not let me email my classmates. Uh, Mr. Boyles has let me do that, but your teacher might not. All right, at any time, if you need to get back to your stream dashboard, you can either click stream or you can click on the teacher's title right there again and it'll take you back to its home page. Over here on the left hand side, this is your menu. So you can see your classes and your calendar. If you click on classes, it will take you back to all the classes that you're enrolled for so that you can get back into the class that you're trying to go to. So we're gonna stay in Mr. Boyles for right now. Also at your menu, you can see that I have a to-do list, and then I can also come down and change settings. You won't have to do that. Your teacher will probably do that for you, but you can change your profile picture, make sure it's something appropriate, and then you can scroll down to see if you would like to get emails or comments. All right, we're gonna go back to our classes, and I'm gonna select Mr. Broyles' class again. Now, as I scroll down, let's talk about what I see in my stream. In my stream, the first thing I see is share something with your class. Now, this is a place where you can add a question. So let's say I wanted to ask the class, uh, what is the next assignment we have to do? Because I can't remember and I can't find it. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm using appropriate language and I'm capitalizing and using good punctuation because my entire class can see this, my teacher included. So make sure you use class comments wisely. If I want to add something from my Google Drive, I can do that. If I want to add a link to a website that I found that was really cool, I could do that. Uh, if I wanted to load a file from my computer, so let's say I wanted to load a document or a drawing or a picture, it lets me do that by clicking there. And then I can also download and uh, input a YouTube video. Now, YouTube videos must be appropriate for your class. So as soon as I have what I want, if I click post, it will post it so that everybody in the class can see it. Now, 
if you decide you don't want everybody to see what you posted, you can always come over here to the three little dots. And this allows you to either delete it or you can copy the link that you created. Now, just because you click delete doesn't mean that your teacher can't see what you originally posted. See how it says your teacher can see? So make sure that you're using that class comment button responsibly. All right, so let's keep going down our stream just a little bit more. And you'll notice as I scroll down, there's several things from Jerry Broyles. That's my teacher's name. And it says that he's posted a new assignment here and here. These little icons that are blue with the little clipboard, that shows me that it's an actual assignment that I'm gonna have to either create or upload something to show that I did the work. Down here, he posted just a material for me to review. So I can pull up the math YouTube video and make sure that I'm ready for my quiz. This does not require me to do anything. So I don't have to add um, a Google Doc. I don't have to prove uh, by taking a quiz, nothing like that. This is just a material that he added so that I have access to it. Okay, let's move on to actually completing an assignment. So if I'm ready to complete an assignment, you can see that it kind of goes in the order of what was posted most recently. So Mr. Boyles posted this at 133, and before that he posted this assignment, and before that he did this. Okay, now you might wanna to scroll to the bottom to make sure that you do the first thing first, and then work your way back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first assignment he posted. And when I open it up, I can see that this is the title of my assignment. And then here's the description that Mr. Boyles wants me to follow. So I'm gonna read that carefully. It says scroll down, okay. So I'm scrolling down. Oh, notice there's private comments. So if you wanna post a comment to your teacher only about this assignment, you can type in here and say, uh, I don't understand what to do. Can you give me the list of vocabulary words I need to use? Once I click send, this will send it directly to Mr. Broyles' email and he'll get a notification and he can come in and respond so that I know what to do. Only he will see my post. So only your teacher will see your post in private comments. Your classmates will not, okay? Now, down below that, where it says class comments, that's where your classmates will actually see if you post something there. So again, use that responsibly. Okay, so let's scroll back up and look at my assignment a little bit deeper. It looks like I have vocabulary words I need to complete. I have to look up the definition using a dictionary and use a word in a sentence correctly. Okay, so I think I understand what to do. And Mr. Boyles has actually already uploaded the template for me. So I do not have to add or create something new. What I'm gonna do is right here. So once I click that, it's gonna open up my very own copy of the document he wants me to complete. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and work through this. Let's say that my first word is inventor. So if that was my first word of the week, I'm gonna write the word there, and then I'm gonna look up the definition using the dictionary. I'll type in the definition. An inventor is someone who, and then I'll come up with a sentence. Two synonyms, which a synonym means something that is the same. So I'm gonna say, another word for an inventor is a, designer, and then I can come up with an image. Now, once I've gone through each of my vocabulary words in my assignment, it actually saves it to my Google Drive, so it's already saved for me. There's not anything extra I have to do. If you exit out of your assignment that you're working on, it saves it, so don't worry. I'm gonna exit out. Once I'm all finished and I'm ready to turn it in, I'm going to click this blue turn in button. Okay, so it asks me one more time just to make sure that I'm ready to turn it in. I'm going to say yes. 
Now, once you've turned it in, that does not mean that you can't go back and change something, okay? If you do want to change something, you realize you forgot a word, you have to unsubmit it, okay? That's how you're going to add your changes. If you have already turned it in and you go back and you open up that document again and you add more to it, it doesn't upload those changes to here. So you have to make sure that you click unsubmit Then you can go make your changes again to what you needed to do. Let's say I needed to add my picture of the inventor. So I'm going to upload an image of an inventor that he looks like a good inventor. All right, I'm going to resize it so it fits in my box. Perfect. All right, now that I made my change, I can get out again and resubmit. I'm gonna turn it in, and now my teacher will get notified that I've turned in my assignment. All right, now that we're finished with that one assignment, let's go back to our classroom. So I'm gonna click my teacher's title of the classroom name up here, and then I can move to my second assignment or I can check to see if what I did and turned in actually worked. So up here at the top where it says classwork, if you click that, this is where you can go to see all of the assignments that your teacher has assigned you. And notice there's that blue icon again that shows me those are assignments. Now, this one's blue and this one's gray. The reason that this one's gray is because I've already completed it. Right, I already turned it in, that's the one I already did. Okay, and you can see right there my status, I turned it in. Now, if I click this one, this one does not say turned in, it says assigned, which means I haven't done it yet. Okay, that's good for me to know because then it allows me to open up that assignment right away if I want to from here. Okay, so now that we've seen all of the assignments that we've been assigned, you have also a few other options. You could view your work. You could look at your Google Calendar, which keeps all of your due dates in a calendar for you. Or you could look at your class drive folder. That's any item that you have created for this class or that you have opened for this class. So let's view our work first. When I get in here, it gives me a list again of the assignments I have. And then it also shows me the due dates and the status of where they are. Right now, the video reflection I haven't done yet, so it says assigned. But the vocabulary slide deck, I've turned it in. You can also see these two little icons over here. This icon shows that I sent a note about it. Remember, I, I asked Mr. Broyles what my vocabulary list was and that I didn't understand. And then this one is the attachment that Mr. Broyles put on there for me. So if I click that, you can open it up and you can see those two things I was just talking about. You can also view more details about that assignment too. Okay, so if I go back to where I was, all I did was click the back button. From here, I can also filter out. So if I click this little down arrow from filters, I can look and see my assignments based on the ones my teacher has given me that I haven't done yet the ones that uh, he or she has already graded, and the ones that my teacher said that I'm missing and I haven't turned in yet. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to Mr. Broyles' class. Let's scroll down and let's look at assignment number two. All right. Assignment number two says a video reflection. So I'm gonna read my directions again. And Mr. Broyles has included a YouTube video that he would like me to watch. And then I have to create my own Google drawing to show two different kinds of waves. Oh man. Oh, but now Mr. Broyles didn't add something for me to work from. He doesn't have a template for me. So what I have to do is I have to click this button right here that says, add or create. Now, 
the adding button allows you to add any item that you've already made for this assignment from either your Google Drive, a link on the internet, or a file that you have on your computer. Now, since I haven't created anything for this assignment yet, I don't have anything to load. So what I need to do is I need to come down here to where it says create new. And Mr. Royals told me I had to create a new drawings. So I'm gonna go down to drawings. If he wanted me to create a Google Slides, I could create a Google Slides or a Sheets or a doc. But since he told me drawings, I'm gonna make sure I open up drawings. Now, as it's creating it for me, it will open it in a new screen, just like that. And it will title it with my name and then what the assignment was. So from here, I can complete the assignment that he wanted me to do. And Mr. Broyles told me that I needed to draw two different waves. So the first wave I'm gonna draw is gonna look like this. Now make sure you look at what your teacher has asked you to do very closely. So I'm gonna just jump back over. So you can see I still have my tab open up here that has my video reflection assignment. I'm gonna make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Two different kinds of waves. Please make sure to label the waves amplitude and wavelength. So those are two things that I learned in science class that I can do. All right, so there's one wave, and then I'm gonna draw another wave with a different color. Let's choose red. Let's get a new one, and let's go. Those look very different. Okay, I'm gonna put my labels on it because that's the other thing I needed to do. But now that I'm getting close to finishing, I'm ready to turn it in. So remember, this all saves in my Google Drive. Okay, so whenever you X out, it's okay, it says all changes are already saved, so don't worry. I'm gonna X out, I'm gonna go back to my assignment, and here is where that drawing I just made is located. Now, if I'm happy with it and I'm ready to turn it in, all I have to do is click turn in. If I'm not happy and I wanna keep working, all I have to do is open it back up, and there it is saved for me, okay? So I'm ready to turn it in. I'm gonna click turn in. Now remember, when you click turn in, any changes that you make to that drawing do not show up on Google Classroom. So if you remember from before, if you have to make a change, you must unsubmit before you start making your changes. Okay, then you can make your changes. Let's say I needed to add something else to it. I make my change and I can come back and turn it in again, okay? Let's go one more time back to Mr. Broyles' classroom. And if you look over here, my upcoming assignments, it says, woohoo, no work is due soon. That's because I've already completed the work that was coming up. So I don't have anything to worry about now that I've completed all of my assignments. All right, that's the basics of Google Classroom and how to work through your different online assignments with your teacher. Up here, here's your Google Apps again. That's just kind of a quick way to get back to your drive or any other Google app that you wanna to go to. Remember, Classroom will take you back to all the different classes that you are enrolled in. If you're only enrolled in one, then only one should show up. Okay, good luck, happy classrooming.